Number one, what is the total mass in AMU of carbon in each of the following molecules? And then we have letter A. So we have methane, which is CH4. We just have to find out what's the total mass of carbon in CH4. Okay, so first off, as we, we see, I have this little box down here, and this is from the periodic table. So when we're talking about masses and molecular masses or molar masses or any type of mass, we need to get that periodic table out. So here is a snippet of my periodic table, and I have two numbers here, right? Now, one number should be totally the same from my periodic table to yours, if you guys have yours out. And it's the six down here. The six is the atomic number for carbon. And then I have a 12.01. Now, yours might vary slightly than mine, but it could match up. The masses, depending on what periodic table you have, the masses might be a little different. So don't be alarmed if your periodic table masses are different than mine. Now, when we're trying to find out the total mass, all we got to do is look on the periodic table, right? But now, which number do we take? Do we take the 6 or do we take the 12.01? Just know that the greater number, and this is always the case, the greater number is always the mass. So in this case, I'll call it the molecular mass. And since they wanted an AMU, and AMU stands for Atomic Mass Unit, we can call this an AMU value. The 12.01 can either be in AMUs or grams per mole, depending on what scale you're trying to visualize your atom. If we're talking about really, really, really small things, we'd be talking about it in terms of AMU. However, if we're trying to talk about larger scale things, we talk about the grams per mole. But in this case, they wanted the AMU, but still it's the same number. Now, we just need to find out the total number of carbon. Okay, so we know that carbon is C. Now, to find the total number of carbon, all we have to do is we just have to see how many carbons are in my compound, in CH4. Well, let's see. I see that there's a C, right? And then there's an H, and then there's this 4 right here. Was there a number after the carbon? No, right? Just know that any time that there's no number after an element, there's a secret one here. So technically, how many carbons do you have? You have one of them. The four over here is talking about the hydrogen. It's not talking about the carbon. So you have one carbon. And now to find the total mass, you're just going to take that many that you have and multiply it by the molecular mass in AMU on the periodic table. So on my periodic table, I have 12.01, and that's an AMU. And that's it. I only have one carbon, right? And each carbon weighs 12.01 AMUs. So the total mass would be 12.01 AMU. And that's it. So starting off easy on this chapter. I love it. What do you guys think? This one was easy. We're going to see the same concept over and over and over again, but make sure to get those periodic tables out. All right? So let me know if this helped you. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out to get the word out there that this cool service exists. And thank you so much for that. I will see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.